What's good everybody? This is Kunal, representing KP Fitness, and today we're going to talk about the number one tip I have to give all people, advanced, beginners, anybody, to building muscle. Call it, so to speak, the, the secret, the key to building muscle. And um, I figure with this title that this is kind of on some Mike Chang shit, um, and I didn't intend for it to be like this, but I also wanted to stress the importance of what I'm about to say, because I really do think this is the single most important part of building muscle, and it is um, mind-muscle connection. So basically, mind-muscle connection is working out starts from your brain. And to quote Chris Jones, you know what I'm saying, uh, I'm one of his biggest fans. He never goes to the gym, he never works out until he gets his mind right. He'll sit in the car for 20 minutes if that's what it takes to get his mind right. And that's what I'm talking about. It, it's a mixture of focus and other things. But working out starts in the brain. That's what causes your muscle contraction. And to keep science to a minimum as usual, because I don't like to, you know, throw these big words out. Basically, a neurotransmitter, acetylcholine, released through the synapses, and then it binds to the receptors on muscle fibers. And that's the muscle contraction. So the better your connection is, the more the acetylcholine are going to bind to more receptors on the muscle fibers. Right? So basically, the better your connection is, the more you're going to initiate that muscle. And with a workout, to give you an example, with an exercise like the bench press, you have your primary mover or your target muscle, which is your chest, and then you got your triceps and your deltoids that can also do a lot of work. Now, how much work your chest actually gets is completely mind muscle connection. So if you're, if you're go ahead and you know, trying to lift as much weight as you can, you're, you're going to not hit the chest properly. What you're going to do is you're probably hitting 60% 60 of your chest, your triceps and your delts are going to take over, and you're really cheating yourself out and not lifting the way you could. So tip number one, leave your ego out the door. I know you've heard it before, but I need to stress the importance because, as I'm going to tell you pretty soon, um, it's extremely important to, to not focus on the, the weight and to focus on the muscle contraction. So we talked about focus, leaving your ego at the door. The second thing is to do a lot of warm-up sets. Now, as you get more advanced, you can do less and less warm-up sets, but it's very important to go light, do a couple warm-up sets, you know, feel the, tre uh, feel the chest. When I like to do bench press, I kind of go elbows out, then I'll come in more, I'll do some close grip, just with the bar, just to really feel my chest working. Then I'll go ahead and slap the weight on. That's tip number two. Tip number three, which I think a lot of people don't do, is slow the, the movements down, slow the reps down. Um, as I'm going to talk about in the future video, always you always want to go slower on the eccentric than on the concentric. So as, as you're coming down, you want to build up the energy, you want to come slow, and then you want to explode as fast as you can. Now this is going to force you to feel the muscle more. Because if you're just pushing the weight around, you're obviously you're going to be throwing it, you're going to have secondary muscles coming in, involved, but as you come down slowly, you're really feeling your chest stretch, and then as you push, you're going to feel it contract. So that's tip number three, guys. So, working out's a, a combination, working out properly is a combination of things, you know, focus, intensity, of course, the exercises you're doing, the amount of reps, stuff like that, but the single most important thing is mind-muscle connection, and... I've been working out, as I said in my intro, for about four years now. Those first three years, waste of time. Yes, I made results, I made gains, but I made gains in three years, and I've made more in the past year. Why? Because I decided to check my ear out of the door for once, finally, and work on my mind-muscle connection. So I, you know, I dropped the weight down a lot. For instance, I, last summer, I was doing 225 for reps. Now I still have yet to go past uh, one... 205. Still have yet to go past 205 for reps, but my chest has grown. My everything has grown. Everything has worked. Um, has gotten bigger. I'm working out better. I I feel better injury wise, um, and it's all due to this one tip. And I have a few friends who actually they they do throw the weights around. They're doing the same thing as I have. And obviously I'm not going to drop any names, but I've seen internally the progress I've made compared to the progress that they have made. And the only difference between our workouts, because we work out more or less the same, is our mind-muscle connection. So, that's about it, guys. I hope I didn't disappoint anyone with the title, but I do want to stress the importance. This is, in my opinion, the number one most important tip to building muscle. 
work on your mind muscle connection get that down and then you'll be able to lift weights increase your weights do whatever you want um, for your ego but but check it at the door you know what I mean go in the gym work out hard intense you know get a high volume workout but just make sure you're working on your mind muscle connection more than anything so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video